I was too young to know at the time the sacrifices that she had made. Of course, in retrospect, I realize she made many sacrifices. She really, she was sort of the caregiver anyway to her family, to her parents, to her brothers. She was that type of person. And she, she, I don't, th I don't think she ever looked at it, that, that it was a sacrifice to look after us. She felt it was more or less a duty. She did what she had to do. This was her personality. She just, she was not outwardly, as I said before, an emotional uh, woman. She really wasn't, but she was very caring. And she, in her own way, she really loved us. Yeah, you really, and, and she became, a, she, she became family. She did. She became part of our family. We included her with everything. She even came to my son's bar mitzvah, which was a wonderful thing. Um, she was part of our family. And when she eventually passed away, I had lost my other mother. It just was, it was devastating. I think about her many, many times. These were our formative years, and, uh, and she was instrumental in putting us on the right path. You know, I, I, I mean, given how horrific the Holocaust was for so many, to, to, to not only find someone that sort of provided safe haven for you, but that you were able to keep in touch with mm -hmm. for the rest of her life, I feel is a very special thing. Have you? We didn't feel that it was special to, to be in touch with her, although there were many, many people who did not thank their rescuers, we really felt that she deserved all the thanks that we could give her. I mean, she, she really, she saved a, a future generation. She didn't just save my sister and I, she saved an entire generation. 